Thank you, my friends, for allowing me to come and speak with you today. For indeed, I do consider you to be my friends, as well as us serving together on the ruling council here in Jerusalem. For some of us, it has been serving together for, for many years now. I come to speak to you today concerning something of, of great importance. A person, actually. The carpenter from Nazareth, known as Jesus our Joseph, who has been teaching and preaching here in our area for, well, for a couple of years now. Now, now to some, Jesus is just one more in the succession of the line of many preachers and prophets that have been a part of our faith history for centuries now. <clears throat> but there are those that feel Jesus is more than that. There are those that say, Jesus is the long-awaited Messiah of our people. Now, I, I for one am not willing to say that Jesus is the Messiah at this point. But I am also not one who would rush to condemn him and say that that he has committed blasphemy for seemingly making such claims. And the more I heard about him, I decided, well, I need to find out for myself. I need to hear him with my own ears, and I need to see with my own eyes some of these miraculous things that I'm told he can do. And so the other night, I, I saw him out. And I told him that I, I realized that the, the presence of God was within him, for, for certainly no one could do what he did without God's presence. And you know what he said to me? He said, unless a person is born again from above, he shall not enter the kingdom of God. And I asked him, how, how is that possible? How can a, can a person re-enter their mother's womb and be born again? And he looked at me and he said, what is born of the flesh is flesh. But what is born of the Spirit is Spirit. And then he added, the wind blows where it will. And you can hear it. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with all those who are born again of the Spirit. And I said, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. And you know what he said to that? He looked at me and he said, are you a teacher of Israel and yet you do not understand these things? My first reaction is I became very angry. Yes, I am a teacher of Israel. I have spent years, a lifetime, studying and learning about our faith and our scriptures and serving honorably for many years here on the ruling council. How dare he say that I do not have an understanding of such things? And then I 
started thinking about the writings of the prophet Isaiah and what he has to say about the coming of the Messiah. Isaiah writes, A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips. He shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall lie with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. We believe that these writings from Isaiah tell us what we can expect and who we can expect as our Messiah. And he talks about a new spirit. And a child leading. A child born again of the Spirit. Spirit of wisdom. Spirit of understanding. Spirit of knowledge. A new spirit. Perhaps very much in the way that Jesus invites those who listen to him to listen with an open heart, an open mind, and with new eyes that we might find these new understanding and do so with open minds and hearts just like a child there is something that many of us may not be willing to consider perhaps Jesus is the Messiah. And if that is the case, should we not, as Isaiah says, be listening to him with open hearts and open minds, seeking out this spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge, like a child. It is true that in his teachings we may feel that he is calling into question parts of our faith and our traditions that have long held and deep feelings for us as religious leaders. 
But if he is the Messiah, perhaps that is what is necessary for God's purposes to come to pass in God's kingdom here on earth. And so, my friends, as we seek the wisdom of God, and as we make decisions here, let us choose wisely and carefully for our sake, for the sake of our people, and especially for the sake of our brother, Jesus. Thank you for this. I don't know if that's what Nicodemus would have said. I don't think he spoke English, so I know he wouldn't have said what I just said. But if you know you're a, a minority opinion, and yet you are friends, and inviting your friends and your fellow leaders to at least consider what might be the case, and even if you're not willing to consider that, to remember that Jesus is one of us, and the decisions we make here could have adverse impact on his life. That must have been a very difficult thing. And I would hope that the likes of Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea and a few others did speak up on Jesus' behalf, even though their opinion is not the one that carried the day. One thing that I think was almost certainly the case, whether you were one of those leaders that believed, or at least willing to consider, that Jesus might actually be the Messiah, or if you were in the other camp that said, no, this is blasphemy, he is not the Messiah. The interesting thing is that across the board, I think all of them would have felt that they were near to the heart of God.
so as we bring our worship to a close and prepare to continue in our journeys of faith away from this place, may the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit that binds us together as a family in faith, even when we are separated one from another, be with us this day and every day. Amen.